What's special about this example is that besides being trivial, it has a sample space which is finite. There's 16 possible total outcomes. Not every experiment has a finite sample space. Here's an experiment in which the sample space is infinite. So you are, you're playing darts and the target is this square and you're, a perfect, you're perfect at that game, so you're sure that your darts will always fall inside this square. So, but where exactly your dart will fall inside that square? That itself is random. We don't know what it's going to be. It's uncertain. So all the possible points inside the square are possible outcomes of the experiment. So a typical outcome of the experiment is going to be a pair of numbers, x, y, where x and y are real numbers between 0 and 1. Now there's infinitely many real numbers. There's infinitely many points in the square. So this is an example in which our sample space is an infinite set. Okay, so we're going to revisit this example a little later. Okay, so these are two examples of what a sample space might be in simple experiments. Now, the more important order of business is now to look at those possible outcomes and make some statements about their relative likelihoods. Which outcome is more likely to occur, to occur compared to the others? And the way we do this is by assigning probabilities to the outcomes. Well, not exactly. Suppose that all you were to do was to assign probabilities to individual outcomes. If you go back to this example and you consider one particular outcome, let's say this point, what would be the probability that you hit exactly this point to infinite precision? Intuitively, that probability would be zero. So any individual point in this diagram in any reasonable model should have zero probability. So if you just tell me that any individual outcome has zero probability, you're not really telling me much to work with. For that reason, what instead we're going to do is to assign probabilities to subsets of the sample space as opposed to assigning probabilities to individual outcomes. So here's the picture. <clears throat> we have our sample space, which is omega, and we consider some subset of the sample space, call it A, and I want to assign a, numer a number, a numerical probability to this particular subset, which uh, represents my belief about how likely this set is to occur. Okay, what do we mean to occur? And I'm introducing here a language that's being used in probability theory. When we talk about subsets of the sample space, we usually call them events as opposed to subsets. And the reason is because it works nicely with the language that uh, describes what's going on. So the outcome is a point. The outcome is random. The outcome may be inside this set, in which case we say that event A occurred if we get an outcome inside here. Or the outcome may fall outside the set, in which case we say that event A did not occur. So we're going to assign probabilities to events. And now, how should we do this?